Hey, today we're going to practice the Saxon genitive. The Saxon genitive? What's that? Go ahead, ask me. Good question. Let me tell you. The Saxon genitive is when we put an apostrophe S at the end of a word to show possession. Who does this object belong to? Saxon genitive. Let me give you an example. You can say the house of Mike or you can say Mike's house. Both are correct, but the Saxon genitive is very common. To say the house of Mike is more formal and Mike's house is more familiar. So let's look at some more examples. You could say the bicycle of Sally or exactly Sally's bicycle. Repeat. Good. Let's try another one. The car of my cousin becomes Good, my cousin's car. Okay, so now you understand how it works, but what happens when the word ends in S? For example, if you're talking about your friend Lewis. The friend of Lewis is? Exactly, Lewis's friend. And it's written like this. Exactly, now I have to say there are two ways to write this. You can write it just S apostrophe or S apostrophe S. Both are correct, but it's more common to do it without the second S. But even if it's written without the second S, it's more common to pronounce the second S to make it clear. So even if it's written Francis Carr, you have to say Francis's car. I know, it's a little strange. And what happens if it's plural? What happens if you're talking about cousins? Well then, you don't write it or say it. It's just S apostrophe. And you say, my cousin's car. And because of the context, you understand that it is possession. Okay, so now let's practice a bit. How would you say, the house of my mother? Good, my mother's house. Okay, if I have a friend, Carlos, and he has a dog, it's... Very good, Carlos's dog. Okay, but now we're going to make it a little more difficult. Are you ready? I said, are you ready? Great, then let's go. The first one is, the dog of the cousin of my friend would be Exactly, my friend's cousin's dog. Repeat. Good, let's try another one. The house of the cousin of my sister-in-law. my sister-in-law's cousin's house. Good. A little difficult, right? Okay, this one is super difficult. It's the vacation of the brother of the mother of my son-in-law. What would that be? my son-in-law's mother's brother's vacation. Whew. That was difficult. Well, hopefully you never have to talk about a person that is that far removed. But if you do, you are ready. Okay, well now you are an expert with the Saxon genitive. Thanks for watching and see you later. Hey, whoa. <laughs> Too close.
Well, uh, thank you for watching the video and um, please, would you consider uh, liking and even subscribing? Those things really help us make videos that help you. Okay, well, thanks a lot and uh, see you next time.